Stop 1, Grattan Square. This spacious square of one acre dates from the early 19th century, when the town was reconstructed by the 5th and 6th Dukes of Devonshire. In 1801, it was decided to develop the Devonshire property in Dungarvan. A large building programme was initiated, which would create 40 shilling freeholders entitled to vote in parliamentary elections. Those who obtained new houses were expected to vote for the Duke's candidate at election time, thereby increasing his influence in the town. By 1806, properties on the site of the proposed square had been demolished and a new square and surrounding streets were being laid out. Welsh slate, Yorkshire flags and Portland stone were imported from Britain. The houses on the square were three storeys and had a limestone parapet. On the north side, flanking the entrance to Bridge Street, were two four-storey buildings. The architect of these improvements may have been William Atkinson, who also carried out improvements at Lismore Castle. Jesse Hartley, an engineer architect, was brought over from Yorkshire to supervise the work on the square and bridge. The square was the scene of a dramatic episode in Ireland's civil war in March 1921. General Michael Collins, Commander-in-Chief of the National Army, was delivering a political speech from the back of a lorry when the lorry was hijacked by three young Republicans in an attempt to kidnap him. The vehicle was driven out of the square along Bridge Street in the direction of Abbeyside and was only stopped when a gun was held to the head of the driver. The driver leapt out of the lorry while it was still moving and managed to escape under fire from Collins's bodyguards. <laughs>